Hey guys, uh, it's Noah Kemboy and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how you can create a choice box. Uh, a choice box is basically uh, a drop down menu. Uh, it's, it looks similar to a combo box but it's uh, somehow different. And uh, in a choice box you can select, uh, you can put a, a list of choices. Maybe in this, uh, as you can see in my in your screen, there's a list of series here and someone is supposed to select the best series or like you saw. So uh, when you select them, Game of Thrones and you click this button, uh, it uh, gets the selected value and displays it in the text field here. So I'll teach you how you can place items into a ch inside the chess box and how you can get the selected item inside the chess box. And you can see even in the chess box, you can also see the selected item because it has uh, this tick uh, icon. And so that's it. So let us go uh, to NetBeans. Uh, we can now close this project. So we'll create a, a new project and then the so JavaFX. Uh, uh, application so I'll select Java FX FXML application select next then type in the name of uh, the the project so I'll call it choice box and then finish so we have now three files here there's a controller class for and this is the basic structure of a Java FX XML application. There's the FXML file and there's the main class file here, the, the main Java class file. So what I'll be doing, uh, I'll just go direct to the FXML file first and open so that you can open it in the same builder and then we can edit it and uh, modify the interface. So uh, now uh, it has opened and now select the button and the label. Uh, and uh, you can delete it and then uh, now you can select the uncapping and resize our uncapping so after doing that now uh, select the v-box now drop this v-box inside the uncapping so because we want most of our items now to be in a vertical manner so after doing that now uh, search v-box uh, chase box sorry chase uh, chase box just search, search it inside here So this is a chess book. Just drag and drop it inside the V-box. So inside the V-box, not the cover. So inside the V-box. So once you put it inside the V-box, now you can come back and select the 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 V-box and align it all to the top center. And you can see for a chess box, you cannot uh, put any prompt text or anything. So what you'll be doing, you'll set some label besides it or on top of it so that it can uh, uh, alert us what are the types of things you are supposed to select. So what you do, come to the chess box, come to the layout, and then now put a margin of 20 on all sides, and then again come to the properties, again, and then we can resize the chess box, and then now here let us type in uh, the, uh, a text, we want to put a text on, or be, uh, on top of the chess box so that it can act as a label or something that will notify us or what items are we supposed to select. And then let us put uh, inside uh, the V box, but on top of the choice box. So this is the text, and I'll align it to the center. And then I'll also change the font uh, so that you can give it something that is uh, more uh, readable than. So I will select another font, and uh, let me say area black. And then I'll also increase the size to something like 51. And then I'll change the prompt text uh, and, I'll, and the text value. And uh, let me just say. Uh, select your best series and then uh, you can put sorry and then you can put a question mark uh, so the, it's very big so you can just decrease the font size something like that that's it so after doing that now, uh, let us go uh, now uh, put some button so that uh, this button on uh, whenever someone clicks this button, it will be getting the selected uh, series and uh, displaying it or submitting it somewhere. So I'll drag this VBOX and drag it uh, inside the VBOX uh, so I can resize the button and now double click it and change the text value inside it and uh, I will change and I'll say uh, uh, display or submit let me just say submit uh, and then 
So remember you can just name it whatever you want uh, so long as you understand the concept and then now we need a text field as usual. I, only, I always prefer using text fields uh, to display my submitted values because text fields are more uh, you can they are more clear than most of these other alert type. And then when I you can uh, preside the text field and then I uncheck this part so that it is not editable. And I'll also come and check this most transparent property so that it, uh, it, is more, it can be most transparent. And then I'll come to the layout and uh, place at least a layout of 20 on all sides of the text field. So after doing that now, uh, now we'll be taking values from this choice box. When you click this button, it will be displaying the selected item inside here. So from that application now, you can uh, you manipulate it and uh, submit the selected item to whatever place you want. So this is uh, just a simple tutorial to teach how you can do this in Java. So mm, now come and uh, select the chess box, then come to the code. We want to give these uh, items some ID. So the first one, and uh, I will give it an ID series. So series. And then I'll come to the button, and then I'll put an action event. So I'll type in the method here, display uh, value. And then uh, I'll come to the text field, the last text field, and I'll give it an ID screen. So that's it. And then I'll save the project. Now, once you've done that, now come back here and make the controller by just right clicking it and make uh, the FXML file and make the controller. So it will make the changes. And uh, as it default, they were given a label and some method here, we don't need it anymore. So like, just like the combo box, you can, uh, define the that type of data type a uh, chessbook can hold. So this one it will be only uh, string values. And just like the combo box again, you will be using an observable list. And I will say, an observable list is just an array. It is a simple array that uh, observes the changes uh, to its items, uh, to its content. So in this type of array, let us, let us create a new observable list array. So observable uh, list now this observable list I'll just name it list and then inside uh, then let us first declare uh, a new observable list so after doing that now I'll do some imports and I'll import the FX collections and also import uh, the observable list so uh, that's it and then we'll create a new method a method that will be supplying data to the choice box so i'll create a, uh, a method that has no return type uh, and then i'll call it load data uh, and as usual uh, whenever you want to call any type of method uh, uh, any name remember to call it something similar to what it, it is supposed to do so first i'll remove everything that may be inside the observable list to avoid duplicate uh, the series or duplicate data uh, of list of items to be added in the same combo box so uh, that's it and uh, when you remove list dot remove all list it clears everything inside the observable list now we'll be putting uh, we'll be declaring some string values that uh, uh, will be bearing the name of the of the series so the, first of all i'll just say game of thrones uh, because And then after doing that, now uh, the second uh, series, I'll just name string B and I'll call the second series uh, and I'll say Legend of the Seeker. Seeker. Then that's it. Uh, and the third, let me just call it and uh, change some test and uh, uh, I'll call Banshee. So that's it. And then after doing that, now we will be adding this list of movies inside the observable list. So this is how you do it. Call the observable list, then a pointer, then uh, add all. Now here inside the add all uh, brackets, you add the strings values. Remember, you can just add those string values just directly. Uh, but uh, you can decide to declare them and add the variables inside it. So now that we have added this series inside the observable list, now it is time to add this observable list 
and supply it uh, into the combo box. So what we'll be doing, just uh, add the series, dot, and now get items, and then add all list. So that's it. Uh, after doing that, and uh, now it is time to call uh, this method here. Uh, in the public void initialize this me this method here uh, that overrides everything. Uh, this way, this is where it all begins. If you want to call any method at the start of this application, just call it inside here because inside here it is where uh, it all begins in the controller class. So that's it. And then uh, after doing that, now uh, let us see our progress so far without even coding the button. So once the build is successful, uh, we will run the file. And uh, when you select this, you can see we have a list of items. So uh, we successfully added data into the chase box. So next one will be now when this button is clicked. So what then? What happens? So first of all, this is the method that will be taking uh, the action event. Uh, display value and then now we'll get the string value of the selected item so i'll get string movie uh, that is the variable i've decided then i'll type in the name of the choice box and then get the value of the selected item and then now i'll check if this uh, string movie is null uh, meaning that no one has selected anything so if movie equals to null then into quotes uh, into color bracket then i'll type in the message so i'll put some text inside the screen so i'll say screen dot set text and to bracket i'll put in some message here and uh, i'll say uh, please uh, select an item and that's it and then else meaning that uh, now someone has selected anything uh, in a case that someone now selected uh, something now i'll put some values inside the screen so i'll place some text inside the text field text field with the id screen and then into quotes i'll say uh, i'll put some message you so your best movie is uh, so some space and then plus sign and i'll add the the value the string value movie and then that's it and then i'll end it the semicolon uh, so that's it now let us build the application and see what happens so another another difference in a chess box uh, a chess box you can add, uh, add directly an action event into the chess box like just like the uh, like a combo box Meaning you love to use a button or something like that to get the values from the chess box. So now, uh, when you select the item and click this button, you see it. Uh, this now uh, it took some the, the selected item uh, and submitted it inside the text field, and you can see it took the selected item here uh, series, and then now uh, it found it not to be null, and then now well, after finding not to be null, it added this string plus the selected item. Uh, movie uh, so if you just select something different you will just see what happens so this is how you now you can supply data inside the chess box and now you can uh, get the data uh, from the chess box so that was it about chess box hope you learned something uh, about chess box so i'll show you the multiple uses uh, of chess box in a in a very big application so just stay tuned to this sub, uh, sub, uh, channel and subscribe uh, to learn more about javafx uh, and javafx and so thank you